Hello everyone. One of the most common data transformations is creating a column based on a condition. This trivial task can very easily become complex and we can spend hours trying to remember or searching for the right expression. In this quick tip video, I will show you how you can use one technique in Spotfire that will never fail you when you're creating a new column. I have some sample data here with project information. You can see I have a column called risk that has three unique values, low, medium and high. Sometimes it might be more useful to have this information in a numerical format, respectively 1, 2 and 3, for example. I will go to Data Canvas and click on a plus button. Then I'm going to select Add Transformations. You can see all the different transformations available, but I will leave it to Calculate New Column. In my new window, in the top right corner of it, I can browse through all the different functions available. Now there are quite a few. I'm interested in the function called case. For those of you familiar with SQL, this will not come as a surprise and probably you already know what we're about to do. I will just type it here. You can see the description and different examples of the function appearing in the bottom. I can start typing now. Case when risk equals low, then one and repeat the same process for the rest of the categories. I will end this expression with the keyword end. In the bottom of my window, you can see the column name option is empty. I can give my new column a name, for example, risk integer. On the right hand side, I have a preview button. This is to check the output of my expression. You can verify if the function does what it's intended to. I will now click OK and my transformation will be saved. I can preview again or edit if I want to. I'll click OK and straight away my new column appears in my dataset. Now, if I want to add my new column in my table visualization, all I need to do is go to properties, columns, and add my new column here. And that was it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.